Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? You seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. I can't blame you. Most nobles are tiresome. I hope that I've managed to change this poor first impression of me. You have? I was wrong about you. You are different. I should have realized that sooner. I hope you can forgive my manners. It was foolish of me. Did you want anything else? Do you wish you were never given to the noughts? How could I not be regretful? I never got to experience a mother's love or a lavish youth. Don't you have any happy memories? I do. Of course I do. For example, I remember the first time I climbed up the shrouds. The incredible view, the dizziness, the sensation of complete freedom. It was an unforgettable moment. I can only imagine how you felt. But it sounds amazing. It was. <sighs> I wouldn't trade that memory for all the gold in the world. Thank you, Desardé. You've given me a lot to think about. Did you want anything else? Had you ever heard about the Darcys before? No, I had not. As you know, there are many noble families in Serene. And there was a time when a lot of them had to give a child to the Nords. I don't remember your family very well, but I could try to tell you about them if you want. I would have loved to have met them, but I'm afraid that hearing about them may only reopen old wounds. You're a good person, De Sarde, and I'm touched by your solicitude. Did you want anything else? What did you think of your brother? Meeting him in such circumstances must have been upsetting. I had high expectations for this encounter. I was naively hoping for some emotional reunion, and I found myself in front of a conceited and selfish idiot. Need I say more? While it was disappointing, this encounter must have allowed you to assert yourself and sweep your regrets away. This is true, and I'm very grateful to you for it. You helped me and accompanied me in a period of doubt. Thanks to you, I feel like myself. It's a service I will not forget. Did you want anything else? What do the Nort's tattoos mean? The first tattoo we get indicates whether we're sea-born or sea-given. The rest of them tell our story. They tell of everything we've been through, our rank, but also the storms we've sailed through. What do yours mean? That I am a sea-given? That I sailed through a hurricane when I was but a simple sailor? That I performed several voyages as a captain without losing a single man? Does my entire curriculum really interest you? <laughs> it's important to me that I get to know you better. I'm flattered, but there are other ways to do so than questioning me, you know. Did you want anything else? Now that the Admiral has forgiven you, do you intend to set sail again? Without a doubt, but do not worry. I will not leave you before I find out where our story leads. I hope that once this is all over, I will get to sail with you again. I hope so too. To be truthful, I'd rather not leave these shores without you. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Sea and love both share a bitter bite. The sea seizes, and love seizes. Love scolds us, and the sea scolds us. For neither are free from tempest's might. A poem? Yes, a poem I read and which I was trying to remember. It makes me think of you. Of us. I... Would you like to spend some time alone with me? With pleasure. Meet me outside my room the next time we return to the house. I will meet you there. Did you want anything else? I must leave you.
Are you still willing to spend some time with me? <sighs> More than ever. Come. Those who fear the waters should stay within the shore's sight. Those who fear the pain that love procures should shun the flames when love endures, and both shall be safe from founder and blight. That is the next part of the poem. And I also have a question. What do you think about it? Are you afraid of sinking? I know this poem. And I think this is the way it ends. For if water could quench love's dying embers, your love that burns and pains and severs, I would douse this fire with the sea of all my tears. Then we shall set sail together on this bitter sea, my tempest. <laughs>